Hello and welcome to a new episode of Greenberry's Garden. Have you ever had problems with germinating some seeds? Whether they're just old seeds or have a generally low germination rate might be the reason. Seed dormancy might also be the reason. In this case the seed is prevented from germinating even when favorable conditions such as temperature, water, light and other conditions have been met. Sometimes this seed dormancy can exist for days, months or even years and is highly dependent on the plant species. Some of these are quite normal for specific plant seeds as some seeds need a period of for example cold temperatures for a longer time until they will germinate. This might be the case so that the seed does not germinate in the fall and then die off during the winter but only will begin to germinate in spring. It also happens with many desert plants so that they only start to germinate when a sufficient amount of water is available for an extended time period. So these periods really make sense. However, they can be quite problematic when you try to grow a plant from these seeds and don't want to put the seeds into the refrigerator for weeks or even months but want to start as soon as possible. Whether the seed is just old and hard to germinate or you wish to break dormancy and start immediately, there is a solution. So if you'd ask me how can I improve germination in seeds or how can I break dormancy in plant seeds, I have an answer for you and the answer is gibberellic acid. Gibberellic acid is a plant hormone and occurs naturally in plants as well and is used in the normal growth process. It was discovered in Japan in 1926 when it was found out that rice plants that had been infected with a certain kind of fungus called Gibberella fuchikurori grew much larger than normal plants. Thus the name Gibberellic acid. Uh, also called GA3 or Gibberellin A3, uh, which was later discovered to be the source of the extreme growth in some plants. So this plant hormone is created by the fungus and causes the symptoms of the extreme growth. Through extended research it was also found later that gibberellic acid can also improve germination and also break dormancy in many plants. Now you probably want to create your own solution to improve germination, break dormancy or improve plant growth. You can find gibberellic acid for example on eBay, also on Amazon and many other stores. It is quite expensive with 1 gram, that's around 0.03 ounces, costing around a few dollars or euros. However, you only need 1 gram of gibberellic acid to create 1 liter that's around one fourth of a gallon of highly concentrated gibberellic acid. If you want to use a less concentrated solution, then you can get double the amount of solution for the same price. It always depends on what you want to use it for. So now let me show you how to create a gibberellic acid solution. You can find different information on how to store a solution and how long it will last until it has broken down. However, storing the dry powder at around 2 to 6 degrees Celsius, that's around 36 to 43 degrees Fahrenheit, is the recommended way. So you should put it into the refrigerator. The final solution you have created should be stored in a dark place and the seller I ordered it from advised me to freeze the prepared solution so that it does not break down. However, other people have stored the solution in the dark for months at normal room temperature without any problems. However, I'm going to store it in the freezer. To allow for easier usage whenever I need some gibberellic acid, I will be using some ice cube trays. Also, make sure to label it for safety reasons so that nobody is going to use them as normal ice cubes. Gibberellic acid is not poisonous but still not safe to drink, so be careful. And please always wear glasses and gloves, because safety is the number one priority. 
to distinguish the gibberellic acid solution from normal water, I will be adding blue and yellow food coloring to create a greenish solution. So now let's begin. To create a 1000 ppm, that's 1000 parts per million solution, which is optimal for increasing the germination rate of many seeds, use 1 liter, that's a fourth of a gallon, of distilled water. You can later dilute it easily to create a 500 ppm solution by using half of the created solution and another half of distilled water and so on. We are using distilled water here because the chlorine in tap water breaks down the gibberellic acid solution. Before we add the gibberellic acid powder we have to dissolve it in alcohol which can either be ethanol or isopropanol, also known as rubbing alcohol, which uh, I am using. The powder does not dissolve well in pure water, so use the smallest amount of alcohol possible, because it can also be harmful for the plants. Therefore, if you only use a few drops, these will be heavily diluted in the final solution and should not cause any problem for the plant. When it has dissolved, add the solution to the distilled water. After mixing it thoroughly and uh, everything has dissolved, let it sit for 2-3 to three hours before using it. So I'm just adding the food coloring here as described before. This is completely optional. If you want to also do this, only use the solid pure food coloring, not the liquid versions because these tend to contain additional components like preservatives and some even sugar, which is not recommended. I'm going to freeze the gibberellic acid solution I'm not using immediately, as I mentioned before, so feel free to do that. To apply the gibberellic acid to seeds to improve germination or break dormancy, I recommend using small Ziploc bags and a small filter paper I created from a coffee filter. Then carefully insert the seeds into the Ziploc bag and add the gibberellic acid. Then close the bag thoroughly and let it lie flat on the table so that the seeds can fully soak from both sides. Depending on the seed and age of the seed and species, leave it in the bag for several hours up to a day. You actually have to try it out for yourself, as there are many factors that can influence the results. So, after the time has passed, remove the seeds and plant them directly, without rinsing them, into the soil as you would normally plant the seed. So, I wish you good luck! And I'd like to read about your experiences with gibberellic acid in the comments. And if you like this video, I recommend that you subscribe and share the video if you know others who might find this helpful. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye!